Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Martin. I'm just going to fix this up. There we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> my name is Martin. I'm filming this in my storage unit today, uh, which as you can see is full of comic books. What I do on this channel is I show off four books from random and I end on a key issue. The key issue here. And this one has a big story. <laughs> I'm very happy with, uh, with this recent purchase. So in a recent video, I showed off uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue 168, which is right here. I told you the story about how I went to an antique shop. Um, yeah. I bought this last issue uh, from that same antique shop, and um, it's a big one. <laughs> what I have to show you today, though, before that, is issue 58 of The Flash. Now, I'm wanting to get the complete first volume. Or first, or would it be the first volume? I think it's the second volume. Uh, so let's just say volume two of The Flash. Um, now, I started reading the flash in this uh series and um i read all the way through i have not stopped reading the flash uh, even to this day i continue to read the flash i love the character uh he's a lot of fun he's very interesting um but i don't have the entire run of this series uh yet i will hopefully have it one day the next one i have for you it's a beautiful cover it's hellblazer uh, issue 63 and check out that painted cover just incredible. Now, this came out in 1993, and uh, I've just noticed here, Glenn Fabry has done the artwork for this. Now, this was hand-painted. Uh, there was no computer uh, painting uh, these uh, in the 90s, um, or if there was, it was very much, you could very much tell. Uh, so Glenn has done a beautiful cover here. Um, I should bag and board this uh, because... Yeah, as I said, just beautiful beyond belief. So the next one I have for you, it's a random issue. It's Superman issue six. Um, he's just, he's knocking someone out. It's a John Byrne cover. John Byrne, let's have a look on the inside. Yeah, you can very much tell it's John Byrne uh, writing and, and drawing. Um, looks absolutely beautiful. Here we go. There we go. There's... Uh, Lois Lane, I believe it's Lois Lane. I haven't even looked at this, haven't read it yet. But here she is, here she is in army khakis, um, yeah, with a Superman costume there. So, <clears throat> just a random issue of Superman, issue six. But what you're waiting for, the purpose of this video was to show off the next issue. It's the key issue of the video, and so uh, yeah, I was just speaking about uh, going to this antique shop which I went to on Sunday. And they had a bunch of Superman, uh, sorry, they had a bunch of Spider-Man books, uh, most of which I already owned, uh, and they were priced accordingly. Then they had a lot of um, uh, Uncanny X-Men books, uh, which were like you know, $10, $15. There were some that were $40, uh, and I, thankfully I had already owned them, so there was no point for me buying them. But they had one issue, which I've been looking for for months, and every time I find it, either on eBay or my comic shop, it's well into the hundreds. It's this issue. It's issue uh, 109, sorry. It's issue 109 of Uncanny X-Men, written by um, uh, Chris Claremont and uh, drawn by uh, John Byrne. It's the first appearance of Vindicator. So I, I'm a big fan of Alpha Flight, and I've been wanting to get this issue for ages. As you can see, it's banged up. Um, there's... Uh, there's some uh, detachment on the interior uh and the guy priced it for four uh sorry for four bucks he priced it for five dollars five dollars australian and he said that the price was accordingly because he thought it was so banged up i jumped on it um i was very excited i was standing with my kids uh when i found it and they didn't understand i had to explain to them why i loved this issue so much and why i was so happy to get it for five dollars um now, in my mind, it's not as bad as the guy thought it was. Um, I would have paid, say, $20, $30 for it, easily. Uh, but yeah, he only wanted five. I'm happy to pay five. Um, very, very happy. <laughs> I'm very, very happy. Do you have this issue? Do you, do you want this issue? Please put down in the comments down below what you think. 
uh, please like and subscribe and ring the bell if this is the kind of stuff you like to see. If you have any questions about any of the books I have in here, please let me know. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you are too. Thanks for sticking with me. I've got two more videos to show and they're going to end in slabbed comics. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.